Governor Cuomo has been a great partner in more ways than just on the economic development front because he understood that the way to get there was to work with local officials on issues that could move the needle forward. And he did that with me on local government issues, on pension reform, on the Oneida Indian Nation settlement. Those were things that had to get done so that we could pave the way for the growth and success that would lead to days like today. That's what this is about. It's about a new generation of economy, of workforce, of people, and it's about growing this. The momentum is there. We've seen it grow with the landmark building, with Bag Square, with the public market, with the Utica Comets. It goes on and on. And today is that big piece of the puzzle that really closes that gap. And now it's our time to move all that forward and get it done. Today's announcement with GE, the decision by AMS to locate here, really puts the Mog Valley in a favorable light and I think really kind of marks uh, an important turning point for us here in the 21st century. Getting the commitment of Governor Cuomo is important. Having a strong ally in the College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering, that, without that, this wouldn't have been possible. But I think it also is testimony to the resiliency of this region, the perseverance, and the fact that we have the vision to see this all the way through. That nothing's going to happen without a lot of hard work and a long-term commitment. And for the Mog Valley region, this is our launch point for what I believe is going to be a real strong economic period for the Mog Valley. I don't think you can offer anyone anything better than a good paying job and we're seeing that investment being made here in the state and I hope that my children someday will be able to stay in our area and raise a family just like I'm doing today. You know I grew up in a time in Utica during the 70s, 80s, 90s when we saw a lot of economic decline and you see jobs move away, people move away. So today I think really marks a turning point for our area. These are major investments being made by the state to bring in some world-class companies that are going to provide good paying jobs. When the people see the state making that kind of an investment in our region, it's going to have a tremendous trickle-down effect. Young entrepreneurs who want to start businesses, other companies who are going to look to our region. This is a win-win for our area today. I'm very excited. The governor asked me to come and transform government as the OGS commissioner, and he came here and transformed my community. This governor is getting it done, not only here in the Mohawk Valley, but he's getting it done all over the state, especially upstate New York. I serve on the Regional Economic Development Council assessment team. I have traveled the state, especially upstate. I have seen the changes over the last four years. I love this community, I love the people in this community, and I knew that SUNY Poly, SUNY IT Prior was where jobs and high tech needed to be. And I worked for many, many years putting the pieces together with the team, with Steve DeMeo, with Anthony Pacenti, with a number of people. We worked hard to put all the pieces together and Governor Cuomo brought it home for us. I think that the change in mindset in upstate New York as a whole has really made a difference. Uh, from a scarcity mindset, needing to protect and hunker down to a mindset of abundance that's really prevalent, increasingly prevalent across upstate, has captured the attention of the governor and, and Albany to pay more attention. And it's clear with announcements like today that that attention is being gained and, and being captured, and we're seeing the results because of it. Mar Valley Community College, we are certainly ready for the coming demands for the workforce development efforts, to say the least. Do we have our a semiconductor manufacturing program, our, our brand new mechatronic certificate, our strong engineering programs, and all of the related programs that are going to be supporting the related industries uh, for all the back office and all the supply chain uh, management that's going to be coming on in the coming years to support the major chip fabrication efforts. The tools have been provided to us, the opportunities in front of us. Uh, today is a day of, I would say, as was, was a little child. This is Christmas in Utica, New York. Uh, the governor, his cabinet, uh, have delivered some great news for us. We haven't had this news in maybe 60, 70 years. Uh, the fact that GE is coming back home, everyone understands who GE and what it meant to this great community, and they're coming back to Utica, as is so many other great things coming back. Utica is going to be the best little city in America. Are we ready for this? We've been ready for four years. 
and after four years, we're only one way to go, and it's up. Here's a new slogan, UP, Utica Proud.